we're going back to the farm and this is a really steep hill. So Andrew's putting the tire chains on. <sighs> Getting his knee pads. We're moving to Salmon Arm tomorrow, but all of our stuff is in storage up this big hill. Yeah, these tire chains are great. Anybody who has issues in the winter, they just give you so much more traction. And they're easy, these are easy to put on. It's really snowing. <laughs> We're like five minutes away. I just want to get warm and cozy. Patrick's getting some jewelry. He's getting some bling. Right, so just put it in the first gear. And... Let's go, Patrick. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and we're going. Woohoo! Moving day <laughs> is yeah. tomorrow. And we have to come down this. Yeah, so we'll keep the tire chains. On. Yeah. Awesome. Good job, Patrick. Good job. We made it. Easy peasy. Andrew's making me watch the thermostat. That sounds like it's like you don't want to. All you do is talk about the heater. Yeah, because it's fascinating. <laughs> it's amazing. It makes life better. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to show you anymore. No, I'll look. Oh, hon. It's getting a little too hot in here. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's going up. This thing's amazing. On and off. Plus minus. Okay, okay I'm done. Okay, good. <laughs> but seriously, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Yay, heater. <laughs> Michelle's sick of the heater. I'm just... Yay, teeth. I love how much you love the heater, but uh -huh. every night that we turn the heater on, I, I listen to like many, many rants about how awesome the heater is. Van life in the winter. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Wait, hold on. It's 20 degrees in here. <laughs> it's moving day. Just going to go get Andrew, and we're going to load up the van and the truck. We're going to go to the bottom of the hill. We're going to take these chains off, and I'm going to walk these chains up, and I'm going to chain up that truck. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to go for a slide. Yeah, we can go check. Might not like, be. we'll go down with the chains on the van, see how it feels. Yeah. But, like, okay. I'll probably come up, because that truck doesn't have four-wheel drive. Yeah. It has all-season tires. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't want to risk anything. We got to drive all down. all the time in the world. We got to drive down a big hill. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a dangerous hill. But... It's a dangerous hill. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Moving day. So I don't know what Andrew's fixing right now. Just something that's been on my mind for a long time. Huh. This light has always... I actually had people flash me because this light is pitched up a bit. So it's right... Like when we're driving and all I see is trees, I can tell where the main beam is. It's like aiming at Buddy's window on low beams. Oh. Right? So low beams, your beam should go, but it shouldn't be aimed at Buddy's face. Yeah. Because you have a jacked up truck and then everybody flashes you and then they're like... Why is it be flashing me? Well, because your truck is aiming at my face. But anyways, so I'm just pitching this down a little bit. Okay. And then this will take a second. I just re remember that I have the Torx bit that I need. This is not a common tool, so but I, I had it really in easy access. So. All right. Good job. Thanks. But yeah, we're, yeah. You want to just hop in and just turn the lights on? Please? Sure. Okay. He fixed it. Yay. We are on our friend's family's farm. They have been amazing and let us store this truck topper here. That has all of our possessions in it. Almost all. We still have a little bit in Calgary. But we're going to load up the truck. I still have to do a video about all the things I did to the truck. I know, for that guy, yeah. Can we do it right now? Sure. Um, and then we're going to load up the van. And we're going to drive the 20 minutes to Salmon Arm to move into our new place. Yeah. It's probably heavy. It's my clothes. We're almost no, done. Those are empty. We're gonna need them so, to put everything from the van in. If I can put one of these up here. I'm so glad it's not cold out or, right now. Yeah, that would suck. Cold. It would really suck if it was cold. Cause that was easy. That's what happens when you don't have a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So nice. Like moving is dreadful cause you got so much fucking stuff. Will the van close with the step in it? Yeah. Yay. My first time driving this truck. Just either 12 o'clock or 9 o'clock. When you're driving, you go 12 o'clock. It's the same as the van. But here you go. It's no. a far reach. 
You can pull your seat up. Whee! And go over it this way. Oh, man. There you go. Mirrors? Mirrors? Oh, there's no fish eye mirror. We'll get one. I did a, ma a brake maintenance on all the brakes, and they definitely uh, absolutely needed it because the pads were rusted, and, and I put new pads in the back, so if you notice, the brakes are probably really good. What do you think of driving this? It's small. Yeah. I think I like it. It's a little it. truck. Yeah. Okay. So you like it? I just, yeah. I think I like driving the truck. I still maintain that I might want a car when baby comes, but Andrew's like, we don't need three vehicles. And he's right, but I'm not a truck person. I don't know how to like back up and maneuver and not see out the back window and use my mirrors. Like I'm getting better with the van, but I'm still not great. Andrew's got the dolly. Move-in day. I have a bathroom, a bedroom. Well, this is the spare room where I'm gonna put all my stuff. A laundry room, woohoo! A living room that has all of our stuff in it. I only unpacked a little bit. The most exciting thing for tonight, a bedroom, a king bed, and a kitchen with a little table, which might seem small to most people, but we used to live in a van, so. First night in the new place and Andrew's sleeping in the van. <laughs> of course. Uh, there's actually a reason he's leaving tomorrow for a couple weeks and he needs his stuff in the van. So there's just no point in bringing it in for one night. And I want this king bed to myself. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. We'll tell you guys where he's going tomorrow. Tell them what you're doing today, Andrew. Driving just south of Merritt to go to a 10-day silent Vipassana retreat. He has no facial hair, he looks different. Yeah, I figured just shave it off for 10 days. Well, it's really hard to do, be in silence for 10 days. We had planned on doing it together in India, but I can't do it pregnant because it's really stressful on the body. So for 10 days, I'm not gonna see him. Oh. Me and baby bump will miss him. Yeah. But I'm really proud I'm that back. he's doing this. Tell them why you're doing it. Because oh, my friend Carl told me about it and after he told me about it, I'm like, little voice was like, you have to do this in your life. You have to do that. It's, if that's a thing, you have to go do it. So now I'm going to do it. It's really powerful inner work to be without stimulus for 10 days and just be in your own mind. Mm -hmm. Andrew will tell us all about it when he gets out. Yeah. And I'm really oh, proud yeah. of him. Yeah, it should be fun. It's pretty cool. He's a little out of it today because he's got a lot on his mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just out for my first walk in Salmon Arm. And I've got to say, I'm liking the view. Oh my new temporary town. It's pretty beautiful. <sighs> it's pouring. <laughs> I am soaked. Thank God for my giant Lululemon jacket. It's actually not cold. Baby's warm. It's fine. But I'm really glad I have this giant jacket. I can wrap around me. <sighs> that walk home sucked. Not because I hate the rain, because I actually don't mind the rain and it wasn't like cold but because I stopped at the pharmacy to get like some bubble bath and some things and some new toothpaste because Andrew has mine and some shavers and some bath bombs because I'm so excited to have a bath tonight and they only had paper bags. So it was like ripping because of the rain. I'm so happy to be home now in my cozy apartment with a fireplace.